One, the Suez Shaman from Rocketship HQ, the mobile user acquisition agency that helps you grow in a capital efficient manner. We've spoken quite a bit in the past about how indie developers can get started with mobile user acquisition. In that context, I've spoken about how Facebook is almost always the primary channel that we recommend if you're looking to start out with user acquisition. Now, we've gotten some follow-up questions. One of the more prom uh, common ones is about what the exact structure is of the account if you're just starting out as uh, with mobile user acquisition on Facebook. And uh, I will aim to address that today. Now, as we structure an account for an indie developer that has never run paid marketing before, I try to stay mindful of the three key pillars of user acquisition, audience, economics, creators. And with that lens, let's look at the specific setup that we recommend for somebody just starting out. Number one, audience. Now, if you have some organic usage, engagement or purchases, we almost always recommend setting up your first ad set so as to target 1% lookalikes of your existing purchases or engagers or people who complete some deeper funnel event. Now, if you do not have any purchaser data or engager data just because you're so new, we typically recommend starting with interest targeting. And as soon as you have about 100 to 200 deeper funnel events, switching to a 1% lookalike. Again, I typically recommend, especially if you have very small budget, two and a half to 5,000 a month, starting with one or a maximum of two ad sets, just so you're not spreading your budget too thin. The second big dimension of user acquisition, economics or bidding. Again, our approach here is very analogous to our approach to structuring audiences, which is if we have purchaser data or deeper funnel event data, then we almost always optimize for purchases or deeper funnel events. If these are not available, we optimize for installs and switch to deeper funnel events as soon as we have about 100 to 200 events. The third key dimension, creatives. Again, this can be challenging for a lot of indie developers because if you've never made ads before, where do you begin? Fortunately, you have comparable and competitive creatives available for review in the Facebook ads library. Uh, it's hard for me to imagine a time when you couldn't access your competitors' creatives, and now you can. Just Google for Facebook ads library and you should be able to find competitive creatives out there. And once you have competitors' creatives and you have an understanding of what messaging is working, what imagery is working, you don't necessarily have to hire or engage a designer right out of the gate. You could use any of the stock image sites. I like unsplash.com or pixabay.com, which allow free stock images. And you could certainly use those as a starting point. And as you gather learnings, as you get a couple of purchases under your belt, you can look at engaging freelance designers from websites like upwork.com. Uh, and so you can have more customized creators. So those are the key first steps you need to take to get started with mobile user acquisition on Facebook and in structuring your first Facebook ads uh, and structuring your first Facebook account. Uh, these aren't necessarily rocket science, but given the plethora of bells and whistles available in the Facebook interface, Oftentimes, it's important to be very, very cognizant of the few critical pieces that matter to you, and that can make a difference. I hope this was helpful. If you need, if you're looking for more tips, pointers, and strategies from the cutting edge of new mobile user acquisition, please subscribe to our YouTube channel right here, or hop over to our blog, rocketshiphq.com/blog. Thank you.